is a decision every mother makes for herself whether or not to breastfeed. A new study from the Journal of Pediatrics says there are no long term cognitive benefits to breastfeeding your child. We took the findings to a local pediatrician and a certified lactation consultant. 70% of new mothers breastfeed their babies. That's according to the Centers for Disease Control. The American Academy of Pediatrics says breastfeeding is best. And we certainly encourage that for anyone that wants to breastfeed. Dr. Sandra Balcom has been a pediatrician in Hampton Roads for 35 years. But not every woman can breastfeed or wants to breastfeed. And a new study by the Journal of Pediatrics shows there is no long-term cognitive benefit to it. The study examined more than 7,000 babies at 9 months, 3 years, and 5 years old. Researchers found that at 5 years old, there was no cognitive difference between children who were breastfed and those who weren't. This study in particular, I think, reassures those non-breastfeeding moms that that's an okay choice and that their baby has opportunity to develop normally if they choose not to breastfeed. It certainly doesn't say there's a disadvantage to breastfeeding. Other research highlights benefits of breastfeeding for mothers. Breastfeeding provides the infant with uh, nutrients that are not readily available in formula that promote gut health, that help prevent infection. Babies who are breastfed have fewer episodes of diarrhea, colds, and the onset of asthma occurs later in life, she says. But the cognitive benefits uh, have not been demonstrated to be there. Overall, she says it's a decision made by a woman and her family. We spoke with a certified lactation consultant who says medical benefits are not addressed as part of the study, but it is important to note that breastfeeding reduced risk of breast cancer for both mother and baby.